good morning, YouTube fam. What's up? Let's see what kind of filter is gonna help me out this morning. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training. Good morning, good morning. Gonna give you guys a few moments to join me here. I wanted to chat with you all about how to be mentally strong today. Good morning, Deanna, Monique. Hello, Miss Congeniality, Sandra. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, what's up, friends? Good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. Hillary, what's up, babe? And I have a topic that I think is really going to encourage and motivate you guys this morning. Hello from Phoenix. So for everybody just joining the broadcast, I need you guys to do two things. I need you to like this live broadcast, so give it a thumbs up. And then I want you to tell me where you are from. Do we want the light or no light? Light? No light. I think we need the light. Good morning. All right, Deidre, Erica, hello from California. What's up, Ohio? So for those of you guys who don't know me, it is Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. Part of this getup, I am just wrapping up my morning routine, which includes fasted cardio. What's up, Columbus, Tennessee, PA, North Carolina? What's good, people? I'm really glad to be here this morning and chat with you guys. I've been enjoying these morning chats, and a lot of you guys have expressed the same. Oh, what's up from Harrisburg? Very nice. I am from Lancaster County. Jody, what's up? Hello from Kuwait. You love this cup? This cup is from Anthropology. Hello from South Africa. So guys, today we're going to talk about how to be mentally strong. When you guys have fat loss oriented goals, any health goal, you're going to hit a point where most people end up having a mental struggle. And the name of the game is all mindset when it comes to reaching your goals, you guys. And how many of you have felt, top chat, live chat, how many of you guys have felt, let's say in the last 30 days, that you were struggling to be mentally strong? So give me a thumbs up, thumbs up if you have struggled with your mental strength in the last 30 days. Honest answers, if you don't struggle with this, no no problem, but I believe there's probably more of you who do struggle with this than those of you who do not. All right, Erica, Deidre, Andra, Becky, trying to be mom. I appreciate the honesty, friends. Appreciate the honesty. Um, I have some tips for you guys that are going to help you be mentally stronger. And I think that this is really going to encourage you. This is going to give you guys some food for thought the next time you are struggling. So how to be mentally strong. The first thing I would recommend, hey Susan, what's up, is to not dwell on the past. Do not dwell on the past. Sometimes when you're approaching your health, Maybe you messed up. Maybe you slipped up. Hey, what's up, Janice? How you doing, babe? You can waste a lot of mental energy dwelling on the past. You could dwell on all the things you did wrong, all the things you could have, would have, should have done, all the things, oh, I could have done this better. Oh, my goodness, how the heck am I here now? If any of you guys have recently looked at yourself in a mirror and you're like, Dear goodness gracious, how am I here? How is this my body? How is this the skin I live in? How did I get to this point? This is not what I want for myself. This is not the standard I want for myself. I let myself go. Oh, hello, Jin, Lin Jai. I'm glad that you're here. And I think it's a very real feeling. Sometimes we could be like, my goodness, how am I here? I used to do better. I know better. I... Um, but, but the reality is, guys, we're here now. We're here now. And I encourage you guys, um, I encourage you guys to not dwell on the past. Do not, do not, do not dwell on the past. Every time you dwell on the past, you guys, you are wasting your energy on something you can't control. Hello from New Mexico. What's up, babe? And the only thing you can control is right now. You're a failed ethic accountability participant. You've been dwelling on that for years. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. And which leads me to another tip on how to be 
mentally strong, which is to not waste energy on things you can't control. Do not waste energy on things you can't control. So for instance, you can't control the past. You can't control the actions of others. You can't control the weather. There is just so much you can't control. So number one, we're not going to dwell on the past. Number two, we are not going to worry about the things you can't control. The next thing is don't worry about pleasing everyone. If you want to be mentally strong, you're going to have to make some hard decisions. And some of those hard decisions is going to involve putting yourself first. It's going to involve putting yourself first. It's going to involve not caring if certain people are not pleased. And hello, it's your first time catching me live. I'm very glad to hear that. Thank you so much for the love from India. Guys, who in here, is anyone in here a people pleaser? I am a glorified people pleaser. I struggle with it. And it's something that I work on improving. You did the low carb, high fat protocol since January. You lost 30 pounds. I am so, 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 so happy for you, Alicia K. That program is so amazing. Guys, here's the thing. Who's a people pleaser? We got to stop. You got to stop the people pleasing. Got to stop, got to stop, got to stop. You're trying to unbecome a people pleaser. The way you unbecome a people pleaser is you put yourself first. It is not selfish to put yourself first, you guys. I say this all the time. I'm going to say it again for those of you who are new, for those of you guys who are not used to chatting with me. You cannot pour from an empty cup. If you are pouring all of your energy into making sure your significant other is okay, your kids are okay, your family's okay, your this is okay, your boss is okay, your things at work are okay. Guys, there's always going to be those things. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a diligent person. There is nothing wrong with those things about being a responsible adult. There is nothing wrong with those things. But when you do it so much to the point, when you do it so much to the point that you're so worried about pleasing everyone that at the end of the day, what do you have? What do you have left? There's nothing left for you. And I'm telling you guys, if you want to be mentally strong, you are going to have to, you are going to have to, have to, have to start putting yourself first. You've got to start putting yourself first again. Another thing, if you want to be mentally stronger, you guys, is you have to stop wasting time feeling sorry for yourself. Who in here does that? You, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm older now. I got kids now. My body's shot. Oh my goodness. No one's going to love me. No one's going to date me. No one's going to marry me. I can't have kids. I'm getting old. Um, my goodness, I'm not pretty anymore. I'm not young anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, stop feeling sorry for yourself. You know why? You know why you need to stop feeling sorry for yourself? Because you are far more capable of being strong. You are far more capable of being resilient. And there is so much more to you than you probably give yourself a lot, a lot of credit for. Don't waste time feeling sorry for yourself. You know why? What does that do? What does that do? Does that get shit done? Does that move you forward? If you are sitting here having a pity party for yourself, stop. Stop having a pity party for yourself. Don't be that person who bitches and whines and moans about your circumstances. Be the person who does something about it. Be the person who does something about it. Monique, get out of your head. Girl, I'm here because I love you guys. I'm here because I understand the nature of the struggle. I've worked with tens of thousands of women Hang on, guys. I got it. I got it. I got a puppy issue. I got it. I got it. I got to deal with my puppies one second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cashy, come. Sorry about this, friends. Sorry about this. Come on. Over here. I, I, I. Dog mom duties. <laughs> yes, dog mom duties. All right, friends. Here we go. I'm back. Don't waste time feeling sorry for yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. You know why? 
It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't accomplish anything. And as a result, you know what you do? You turn yourself into a victim. You guys are not victims. You guys are capable, awesome, strong, amazing people. You have all of the strength and the power inside of you as anybody else does. There is no reason why you can't go out and accomplish epic shit. Zero reason. Stop worrying about the past. Stop worrying about people pleasing. Stop worrying about things you can't control. And don't waste time and energy feeling sorry for yourself. Instead of giving me a laundry list of what you can't do, tell me what you can do. What can you do? You may be like, you know what? Oh, I'm broke, Christine. I got a million kids. I just lost my job. All these things, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Guys, I'm sorry to hear those things because I understand that those are very, very real circumstances. But you know what? You can still get your ass up and go for a walk outside. You can put two feet in front of the other. You know what? I have free meal plans all over the internet. If you are saying, Christine, I'm so broke, blah, blah, blah. Do you guys know I have free macros blueprint, free budget meal plan, free keto meal plan? Those are there if you're resourceful and use it. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. Now, another thing, if you guys want to be mentally stronger, don't resent other people's successes. I caught myself doing this. I caught myself doing this recently. I was scrolling through the gram like we all do looking at somebody else's life and being like, gosh, dang, who the hell does she think she is? Blah, 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 in my head. And I'm like, Christine, don't, don't resent someone else's success. Don't resent someone else's success. You know what? When someone's succeeding, when somebody's thriving, you be happy for them. You, you nod, you, you mentally high five them. Like, you know what? Get it, girl. You know what? Good for you. You know what? That shows it's possible. And Maybe you have family members who you resent their success. Maybe you have friends. Maybe it's someone you know. Damn you, J-Lo. <laughs> I know, right? Perfect body, successful career, amazing kids, amazing relationship. You guys, you know what? Don't resent other people's success. Don't hate because that hate, that bitterness, that resentment, that those feelings end up consuming you and making you feel toxic and garbagey. Yes, they make you feel shitty. They make you feel shitty. And we all are human. We all do it sometimes. But what I'd like to tell you is don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No room for exercise outside only. You eat out daily. If that's you, Melissa Arnett, I have a program called the On The Go Travel Guide, which requires zero kitchen. You can check that out on gagegirltraining.com. It's on the ebook section. It's like $12. It has 100 menus. It has a ton of things that require zero cooking. Zero cooking required. There is always a way. There is always, 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 always a way. Another thing you want to do if you want to be mentally strong is you don't give up after the first failure. Don't give up after the first failure. How many of you guys get yourself all set up, put all of your hope and energy into one little basket, and then the second it doesn't go your way, the second you see your weight go up, the second you don't see instantaneous, overnight, miraculous results, you're like, you know what? F it. I'm not trying anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. Forget it. Screw it. You guys, don't give up after the first failure. You know why? I've said this before. Say it again. Failure is part of the process of success. You need to fail your way to success. Don't give up, guys. Don't, don't give up that easily. Don't give up that easily. You need to, you got to be in it for the long run. I want you guys to be fighters. I want to know today who is going to be a fighter. Who is going to be the person that's like, you know what? I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep at it because nothing can stop a person, not a thing that does not stop believing in themselves. You cannot knock the person down who doesn't quit trying. And for any of you guys who are just feeling heavy with disappointment, anyone who is just feeling heavy with 
just being mad at yourself, being disappointed, trying to please the whole world, feeling like you just can't get any traction. Guys, be the person who smiles. Be the person who's like, you know what? I got this. It, it may not be now. It may not be right away, but I am not going to give up. I am not going to give up. I am going to keep believing. I am going to keep trying. I am going to not accept any failure as final because you know what? The second, yes, I got this, Erica. This, the, re, this, the fact that each of you woke up today and are hearing this message and you have air in your lungs, you have a roof over your head, you have two good eyes, you have two good legs, you guys, don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Because success belongs to those people who keep trying. Exactly, exactly, Jen Hoffman. Failure just means that you tried something that didn't work. And it's an opportunity to do things different next time, guys. Don't, no failure is final. No failure is final. Yes, Alicia K. it's your life you're fighting for. You won't give up ever. That's what I'm talking about, friends. That is what I am talking about. So guys, if you are enjoying this live broadcast, I have one favor to ask of you. I just ask you that you please give this live a thumbs up. Helps your girl out here on YouTube with all this algorithm nonsense. And one more tip I'm gonna share with you guys today about how to be mentally strong and this is going to rub some people the wrong way, but it, we are serving up the tough love this morning. Who is down for the tough love this morning? You guys ready for it? You guys ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the last tip. Thumbs up if you're ready for the last tip. All right, here we go. Here's the last one. Don't feel that the world owes you. Nobody owes you a thing, guys. That entitled mindset is going to F you up more than anything. Nobody owes you shit. No one owes you anything. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve that. If you want something, you're going to have to go out and get it. You're going to have to go out and get it. So what? You don't have the best genetics. So what? You're older. So what? You're going through menopause. So what? You just had a kid. Guys, a world doesn't owe you shit. The second you start acknowledging that, swallowing that heavy pill for breakfast and be like, you know what? Nobody owes me anything. If I want something, I'm going to have to go out and get it. I'm going to have to go out and fight for it. I'm going to be the one who serves up my own success. I'm going to be the one who makes it happen. And guys, take pride in that. Get excited about that. You know what? No one owes you a thing. No one owes you anything. So if you want something, you know what? You make it happen. You owe it to yourself to make it happen. You're, don't worry. You know what? Oh, your partner didn't do the grocery shopping. Or you know what? Oh, you need help with the bills. Or you know what? Oh, no one did the laundry. Or you know what? Your kids are like brats. Or you know what? Gosh, your job sucks this week. Guys, the world doesn't owe you a gosh darn thing. The world owes you nothing. The world owes you nothing. And once you you start swallowing that pill every day for breakfast, you know what happens? You don't rely on anyone else but yourself. You don't rely on anyone else but yourself because you are the only one you can count on at the end of the day. And if you're relying on, oh, it's my trainer's fault. Oh, it's my coach's fault. Oh, it's it's my fault. It's my, my teacher's fault. My boss's fault. My husband's fault. My boyfriend's fault. My girlfriend's fault. My this's fault. My, my mom's fault. It's my mom's fault I'm this way. Or, oh, it's my kid's fault. Guys, the world doesn't owe you anything. And take that, take that nugget of knowledge, swallow it, and smile. You know why? Because you're going to be the one who gets you there. You are going to be the one who's going to get you there. Now, if you need guidance, if you need support, if you need accountability, I can coach you and help you. I can get you going on a meal plan that's going to put you in the right direction. But you have to be the one to do it. You can lead a horse to water. You cannot make them drink, guys. I want you guys, if you want to be mentally strong, take ownership. Take accountability. It is up to you to make it happen. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yes, you got yourself here and you'll get yourself out. That's a talk. That's it. I love you guys. If you want to chat more, DM me and I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. 
of what plan will be best for you, the best way to get in touch with me is to send me a DM on Instagram, guys. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye.